braving the cold in the battle against COVID. Thousands of Hong Kongers have been lining up in the wind and rain this week as part of a targeted testing campaign to find hidden transmission chains in the community. We just got a call to say one of my son's colleagues had tested positive, so that's why we're here. I'm very worried about it. The government is issuing compulsory testing orders at residential buildings across the city where multiple cases have been found and urging the public to keep their daily movements to a minimum. I've only been out twice this week. I've just come out today to get some basic necessities and I now go straight home. Going out to take public transport worries me. I don't feel comfortable being in a crowded train or bus at the moment. The city's schools have been closed for weeks in a bid to reduce the risk of further outbreaks. That's adding extra pressure on parents. Hong Kong's fresh food supply is almost back to normal. Deliveries from the Chinese mainland have been arriving by sea this week to help fix disruptions caused by a virus outbreak among cross-border truck drivers. The government says it wants to avoid a full city lockdown so that essential public spaces like these markets can keep operating. To avoid the risk of infection in areas like this, this week it's introducing a vaccine pass system that will be built into the government's contact tracing app that you can see on the QR code behind me. And it will bar unvaccinated residents from being able to come and use areas like this one. To help the city cope, Construction crews from the Chinese mainland are also braving the winter weather to build new isolation centres for the surge in COVID-19 patients. It's hoped that'll not only reduce the risk of community transmission, but also reduce the growing strain being faced by Hong Kong's hospital system.